Catholic short-handed. Lava makes a move. Goes on this. It's good! Greco, a shot. It's good! The guy goes! You're watching Southern Lehigh Spartans Hockey only on Nick's Hockey Broadcast. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bethlehem Municipal Rink in Bethlehem, PA, where tonight the Lehigh Valley Scholastic Hockey League, despite, despite all the difficulties it went through throughout the offseason, are back in action here in October. Tonight, the defending Southern Lehigh Spartan champions will take on Bethlehem, Bethlehem Area School District here in Bethlehem Municipal. And um, as we all know, the previous home of the Lehigh Valley Scholastic Hockey League in the rink at Lehigh Valley was sold to new ownership and will no longer be used for the great game of hockey. So the league has been moved here at Bethlehem Municipal for it appeared to be the remainder of the season. Southern Lehigh is coming into this game losing some of their top seniors within the offseason, such as Clay Shepnick, Patrick Laughlin, and others as well, so they have some significant losses. But of course, they also have some new rookies joining their ranks, such as guys like Daniel Mosgrave, a very talented offensive defenseman who got 14 goals, 26 assists, and 40 points in 55 games last year with the Junior Thunderbirds 18U AA team. Another rookie is Eric Kloss, brother of Spartans goalie Maya Kloss. Um, this season so far will be Valley Forge Minutemen, 15U AAA, and seven games, two goals, two assists, and four points. Another rookie to also keep our eyes on is Ethan Myrick. In six games so far, six games last year, he had five goals, 66 for 11 points in six games for Easton Middle School. So he's getting his shot to play for varsity tonight here for the Southern High Spartans. And as for tonight's game, it is rainy. You can see as the warm ups are going out of way. It looks like the 1975 Stanley Cup Final in Buffalo. In other words, it's extremely foggy here. It's almost hard to see exactly what's going on on the other end. It's probably a little hard for players to see as well as spectators, parents, and friends watching on. It'll be a little difficult for me to be honest. I will do the best I can. And we will be back for the first period face-off. It's been over 200 days since the last game in the Lehigh Valley Scholastic Hockey League. And the 2022-23 season is about to get underway. Centers go in, puck is dropped, and we are back into the Lehigh Valley Scholastic Hockey League as the Spartans will try to get it out of their zone. The fog is really creeping up around all the players. Wonder how easy, well, I wonder how hard it is for them to see out of their own zone, as it appears that Meyer tried to get it without the reach for. Bethlehem, the fog is really consuming the players all whole. Pyra Pavel tried to clear it in from the right point. It appeared to be blocked down. Bethlehem tried to set up. Arm goes up in the air, and I believe we have our first penalty not too long into the game. Off the tie of power I'll probably commences when Melzer tried to get it back as Kakesi couldn't keep it in the point. An early power play for Southern Lehigh, as we still have plenty of time left to go in regulation. As now they bring it through center, coming through the class there. It's Jack Kakesi. Let's it go, and that goes off the high glass. Kloss, now he feeds it across to the high. So here's a shot to block down there. Good, good defensive read there by Frey as Bethlehem clears once more. 30 seconds gone on the penalty against Bethlehem. Cleared all, all the way down as Bethlehem tried to shoot it all the way down to the other ice. They did. Chris Fanning. Made the clear as the Spartans bring it over the line. Spinning, spinning around there is MJ Edwards. Leaves it there for the point. As the Spartans try to get a centering pass there to, Fennig, to Penninger, but it would not go as Fanning clears it off the ceiling and that will stop play. It'll be Edwards against Monez. Edwards comes up with it. They get it down to the point. Holding on there now was... Holding on there was Daniel Mosgrave, one of, the, one of the interesting rookies coming up now for Southern Lehigh, playing for the Valley Forge Minutemen. As scooped up there was Fanny. He got it out of the reach of Edwards, and he clears it all the way down. 40 seconds to go on the penalty against Bethlehem. 
as Bethlehem kills more time as the puck's down the other side of the ice. Now Sp the Spartans will rush the other way. Here comes Edwards. Takes a shot, but goes w wider than that. As Fanning, the nearest player there for Bethlehem, tries to clear it down in the penalty kill again. It, as the Spartans can't set up. They're Pe penalty is about to expire, and Bethlehem survives. Nearly an offside play as Kikisi was bringing it over. Here comes Bethlehem the other way. Hard to tell exactly what's going on. Apologies for there. And I believe Blake Benner was able to cover that up. Suddenly, I will now try to get it, gain the zone. As Penninger brings it over the line, makes a nice move, goes on the right wing, looking for some help. He still has, got the, he still has the puck, corrals it around there from Roche, but he lost it. Greco tried to tip it, as now they get a shot, nearly blocked. It was, it was blocked there by the current member of Phantoms Youth, 18 AA, Thomas Pyre Pavel. The defense will now erase it as he brings it into Spartans territory. Here comes Kikasi, brings it on the corner, trying to jab it toward the cords, the goal, but actually that was Greco, excuse me. As now they rush the other way. Bethlehem brings it on the right wing, and vision is now lost from this perspective. Once again. Suddenly High brings it the other way. Bring it out there, here's a shot that goes wide. Hard to see who that was, apologies. As now Bethlehem will try to get it back over there, the blue line. Suddenly, I try to get it over the blue line. Finally, they had the puck in their own zone for so long, and now Bethlehem will bring it the other way, and we finally get a whistle and offsides here against Bethlehem. Spartans win the draws. Now they bring it the other way. Racing there was Eric Kloss. He lost control. As now Bethlehem now goes back to the point there towards Kloss, but the Spartans couldn't keep it in the zone for long. Player goes down for Bethlehem at center ice. Hard to see is now suddenly how we'll bring it on the wing. Moving in there was Penninger once more. He's been active these last few minutes. And now Bethlehem trying to get some more offensive opportunities. No score here early in the first period with 11 minutes to go in the first. Spartans bringing the other way. Here's a shot, goes right on net, and a nice save made by Bender as Edwards was pressuring to put that one in. Off the draw, Edwards tried to scoop it out, comes free. Humphrey trying to center across, they tried to get to right to the goal, but they couldn't get a shot. Romelza had it on his stick, but he couldn't connect on the play. And now they lose control of it again. Spartans need to get more, some more offensive, offensive opportunities, even though we are very early in the game and we get a Whistle here and neutral ice. Humphrey and Fanning battle for it there and finally comes free. Roche through center on a tip stick. As now Bethlehem Nick gets a shot on net. I believe Benner got a piece of it. He did and he covers up. As so far in the game, Bethlehem has really kept the puck in Spartans territory quite a bit. It's now suddenly how it broke it the other way. Here comes Anthony Greco coming off a career year. Trying to center across but it's blocked there by Pyra Pavel. He's pressured there as now P Greco will now hold on. Anthony Greco coming off an excellent year. His shot was paddled down there by Bender. She got a piece of it with the blocker. As now Greco gets a shot, but it's blocked down again by a stick of Pyre Pavel as Bethlehem will now rush the other way. Some of the better offensive opportunities for Southern Lehigh early on into the game. As now they'll go, they'll bring it back again as a shot there by Kakesi was fanned on Why Kakesi tried to center him. It bangs across, and Bender covers it up as Greco was waiting at the doorstep. Edwards wins the draw. Humphrey takes it. Humphrey across there. Shot there by Penninger. Deflects, and I believe it went out of play there. Edwards going to come up with it. He's He's been on the faceoff duck quite a bit early on into the game. That goes to the points. Blocked down by a skate. As now James Penninger takes a shot from the angle, but it goes off of Monez. Kept in there. Shot there again. They score! MJ Edwards! And the Spartans lead one to nothing. MJ Edwards had a really good season last year in 20 games. He had seven goals, 11 assists for 18 points. And with some seniors leading for the Spartans, he could definitely make up for some of the lack of uh, seniors on, from the team of last year for some even more offensive power. He had a good season, and he gets the first goal of the year 
for the blue and white. Southern Lehigh will now try to get it out of the zone. You can see the fog is coming out of the fog there. Was Penninger. He, he lets it go, but it's blocked down there by McCray. As now Bethlehem rushed the other way, bringing it over the line there. It's Nick Monez as he goes down to the corner. Sparnes now bring it back into the other side. It goes there to Mossgrave, one of the newest members of the team. With the absence of Aiden Pale, he'll definitely be an interesting piece to watch. And here comes Edwards going for the angle shot there, saved by the right pillow pad of Bender. Fanning lops it to neutralize, but the Spartans take it back. Here comes Jack and Casey, lets it go, but it goes wide. It may have been blocked by Bender, but it stays out. As Bethlehem tries to get it over the line, they do. Good start for Southern Lehigh, even though the puck's been mainly on their own end of the ice as we get a stoppage of play with 6.33 to go in the first. Sparnes will now go the other way there. It's Greco. As he clears it, it will not be. It would have been an offside if it's delayed as Greco clears it in. Gloss gets a shot, but it was may have been fanned on as Fanning, no pun intended, maneuvers around Lamelza. Fanning through center. Clears it all the way down. A goal was just scored for Bethlehem. Apologies for lack of enthusiasm. I did not know for sure. But Bethlehem has tied the laces at one with less than 4.20 to go. Sparnes bringing the up the other way. Goes to Edwards again. He's got to go. He takes a shot in the save by Bender trying to go for a second. But he was denied. In last year's playoffs in particular, and mostly the regular season, former captain of the Spartans, Patrick Lothwin, seemed to be, seemed to be um, in a common place in the face-off circle, but with him graduated and him now in the Navy, it seems that guys like MJ Edwards and now Eric Kloss are taking the face-off for, for now. Greco spins back on the point. Holds on, takes a shot, and a save by better rebound was loose, but Melza was trying to jab it through, but it was too late. Kloss wins the face-off. Penniger flings it out to the other side. Casey shoots. He scores! Jack Casey had an excellent year last year. Led the entire Spartans blue line in points. He's got his first there of the year. Right from the point. It found its way through. And suddenly he takes the lead back. Jack last year had 18 goals, 5 assists for 23 points. That's excellent numbers for... A defenseman, he's almost become the Kale McCarr of this team over the last few years. You, yeah, you can see you can see Blake Bennett a little bit. Slightly, the fog is intensifying now. The fog has really been varying when you can see down the other side of the ice or not. As now Bethlehem tries to set up behind the goal. Racing after there in the corner was Roche. He gets hit there by a Spartan player. I believe he went down on his balance, but he's back on his feet now. Fanning has been has had the puck quite a few times here in his own zone. Two minutes to go in the first period. It's two to one in favor of Southern Lehigh. Greco trying to make an onside play. He twists around and corrals back to the corner. Greco keeps it on the line. Try to get it towards Kloss. But McCray got in the way in that passing play. Sparrings were trying to set up, but they didn't have much time. It goes back through center. Sparrings now rush with speed. They bring it down to the other side. Here comes Mosgrave. Makes a nice move. Walks in. It's padded down by Bender. Greco makes a hitting play there, uh, there on the left side. As Bethlehem trying to at least escape this period with being only down by one. That's cleared all the way down. We'll see if we get a... Whistle will not be. Daniel Mosgrave, it's kept, it's brought in there by Greco. Anthony Greco takes a wrist shot, goes off the high glass and stays in play, does not go out. 40 seconds to go in the period. Sparnes less than 30 seconds left, bring it back to the other side. It's Greco, waits, throws one across, but it deflected wide off Humphrey. Greco holds on to the point for a second there. It's nearly fed to the highest slot, but the Spartans could have keep it in as now Bethlehem go the other way. Here's a slap shot. It appeared to be go off the it appeared that Blake Benner may have covered up, but the play is stopped with 9.2 seconds to go. Spartans bringing the the other way. Penniger takes a centering pass, trying to jab it to the side of the cage. 
But he lost control. He still has the puck. Makes some moves around. Lamelza waits, flings the shot, tries to deflect the right on goal there. Wing there at center, I believe, was Edwards, who has the first goal of the game. Now goes to Greco. Spins away. Greco holds on, takes that shot, goes wide off the high glass. Roche clears it all the way down as Kakesi will retreat for it. And it will be an icing as a result. Schwartz lost it there from Pyro Pavel. Wing there was. Humphrey, they try to set it across, but Edwards couldn't get a shot as Bethlehem will try to clear it all the way down. It was Patrick Michael, I believe, and it clears through. Here comes the Spartans the other way. It's Edwards. He's got help on the wing. Trying to get it across there. There's Schwartz, but it's blocked down. The defender goes right on net of Bender, but her defense managed to, got it out, to get it out. Spartans bring it back into Bethlehem territory. They hold on the wing. They try... To set up some more chances. It goes to Greco, I believe. Anthony Greco corrales around. They try to set up from the corner. They try to get a shot, but Bender, I believe, got a piece of it. Spartans try to set up again as Pettinger waits. Behind the goal there is... Was Kik was, no, it was not Kikisi. It was one of the Spartans rookies, Air Kloss. Spartans finally back as they bring it over... The blue line, but I believe it's an offside as, as Greco was bringing the puck over. But we'll get yet another whistle with 12-18 to go in the second period. It's 2-1 to one in favor of Southern Lehigh. Goals going to MJ Edwards and Jack Kakesi. Spartans finally, get, uh, even though it's hard to see on the other side of the Spartans, even though they have the lead, have not really had the puck much in the Bethlehem side of Bethlehem Municipal of the rink. Pyro Pavel tried to clear it back down. It was blocked down by a Spartans player. Humphrey waiting through center. So is Edwards. As the Spartans still struggling to maintain control, and now they do. Here comes Mosgrave trying to center it, but it goes off the stick blade there of Dudik. As the Spartans keep it in, I believe it's Greco holding on. Toe drags around, makes a move, and he lost control. That Actually, that was James Penninger. He holds on from the high slot, takes a shot, was off a screen of players and the fog. Of course. Must be a goalie's nightmare out there tonight. Frey pressured there by Edwards. Humphrey and Roush try to get maintain control as Frey off the stick there of Claus. Because for tonight's game, James Penninger is wearing 14, but Ethan Myrick is wearing a previous jersey James Penninger wore, but it blocked out his name, and they put a tape on the one the digit to make it number 74. When he gets his new jersey, he will be number 73. Rookies will get their new jerseys a little bit down the line. As for tonight, Daniel Mosgrave is wearing 99, a former jersey belonging to Hunter Ramelza. Eric Kloss is wearing number 51, former jersey of Sargent. And Ethan Myrick is wearing 74. When the new uniforms arrive, when Mosgrave will wear 5, Kloss will wear 7, and Myrick will wear 73. Sparns bring it back over the line. Here comes Anthony Greco. No look past it behind himself. It goes now. To the side there of Eric Kloss. It's scooped back up there. Crowding it there is Leah Krasinski. As the Bethlehem Area School District will now bring it back to the other side. Sparns go the other way. It's a 2 and 2. It's blocked down there by Pye or Pavel. As they get a shot, it's blocked out off the skate. In case he got that shot on that earlier, he blocked that unintentionally with his skate on the second try. As it goes all the way down once more. Spartans bring it back the other way. Greco lost his edge. It's kept it on the point. Kakesi tried to get the Pyro Pavel as he intercepted on the play. Spartans try to keep it on side, but they fail. As Bethlehem will now try to rush the other way on, on another offensive opportunity. And apparently, even though it was near impossible to see Bethlehem has scored, impossible to say who in who it was initially or who it even was to begin with, but they have tied the game at two. And we're tied at two here in the Fog Bowl. As the Spartans try to get another chance on that, that goes right into the pillow pads of Bender, and she covers up. So, so far, every time Southern Lehigh has scored, Bethlehem has responded back to tie the game. The Spartans were up 1-0. It was tied at 1. The Spartans were up 2-1. to one. It was tied at 2 several seconds ago. Monez wins the defensive draw. McCray out of the trapezoid zone around the net as it goes back to the Spartans' point. 
and they keep it on side for now. They get a shot, it goes off the high glass. I believe that was that was Myrick who got a shot that went high and wide. As now scooped back down on the point. It's Myrick holding on, holding on again. Lost control. Too many defenders around him, and he didn't have much help within his reach. It's kept in there by Anthony Greco, it appears. Greco holds on on the wing, takes a shot. And it goes off the side of the cage. Hard to see hard to see where he was going. He was going for a creative play, but he ran out of room. Sparks bringing the other way now. It's a man alone. Here's a shot. Goes off the pads there as a nice offensive opportunity was shot there by Eric Kloss. The rookie gets it across. Scores! The Geico Greco provides the insurance for the first time this year. Leaving up just how he played last season. And Southern Lehigh retakes the lead. It's three to one. Spartans get the get a three two lead. They get another shot. They score again. It's Kakesi. He's got another one off the top of bar and in. Two goals in a matter of a minute or so, and it's four to two. Their first two goal lead is now. They try to get another one. They get a shot right into the glove of Bender. Bender as Nick Humphrey. Took an easy first shot there. Edwards off the tie-up. Humphrey tried to scoop it free. He, he bangs his stick in frustration. As Bethlehem will go right into the fog and disappear. <laughs> Never to be seen again. <laughs> Despite the fog, it's almost amazing to see that we have six goals. Not even done the second period. Although maybe the vision of... The players' perspectives are a little better from the spectator viewpoint. As the Spartans get a shot, it's blocked down by it was blocked down there by Monez. Nick Monez disappears as well as the rest of the game. <laughs> and I believe Blake Benner, Blake Benner, I assumed, just covered the puck up. Spartans now bringing it out of the way. Here's Humphrey. Throws one across, but he couldn't get to the stick of Edwards. Good idea. The play just did not work out for Southern Lehigh. Now suddenly have a go back on the counterattack. It's Edwards, Kloss to the center across, but that shot went wide from Edwards. Edwards corrals it back down. Setting up there was Kakesi. Kakesi back to Edwards on the, on the corner. Edwards centering pass there, goes off a stick blade. They battle for it around a few skates, it's still loose. As now Monez tries to clear it all the way down and does. Spartans keep it in. As they get a shot, goes off the shoulder there of Bender as she, as she casually catches the puck right up in the air and hangs on. Bethlehem wins it defensively. Less than three minutes to go in the second period. As Humphrey Kakesi try to get it around there from Lamelza, it comes free again. As Pyro Pavel will now try to get it back around. Pyro Pavel try to get around Lamelza. It succeeds as Bethlehem rushes with numbers the other way. Try to get over the line, suddenly I was pressuring, and the players disappear into the flog once more. I'm guessing Blake Benner made another save just there. A little more than two minutes to go in the second, still four and two in favor of the defending champion, suddenly High Spartans, as they won the first LVSHL title last year in a best of three series against the Central Catholic Saints. Ironically, the Saints were the team that beated Bethlehem in the semifinal last year in a final score of seven to four. And Bethlehem actually had a pretty good season last year. They even won seven of their last games as they made the playoffs. So they're coming off a pretty good year, and they still have some good pieces remaining from the previous core, like Chris Fanning, Nick Monez, Ryan Hathaway, which is a huge piece, who had 31 points last season, and others are still around. I believe Bethlehem has just scored based on the reactions of the bench. And it's now a one goal affair with 105 to go in the second. It is now four to three. The Spartans are now only up by one. As Bethlehem is trying to come back into the game to tie it up once more. As the players slowly come out of the fog to move it to at least this part of the ice, it almost looks like ghosts of the NHL past are coming into real action here in Bethlehem Municipal. In a way, of course. How cool would that be? Spartans now get it all the way down. They'll win the race, so it won't be icing. Try to get there. It's Greco trying to jab it to the corner of the of the cage, but he lost his edge. Is now Fanning gets it over to the other side. As Bethlehem will now kill more time on the clock. 
18 seconds to go in the second period. Ten seconds to go in the period. Time winding down. Barnes trying to pick it back the other line. They do. There is Kikasi. Let's it go, but he fanned on the shot that went off the stick there of Myrick. They get a shot. They score. It finds its way through. Greco may have tipped it in along its way. And the Spartans have a two-goal lead yet again. It's 5-3. to three. Based on the reactions, I believe Greco is the one that got it. Edwards has a goal. Kikasi has two. And now Greco has got his second as well. Geico Greco coming up big yet again. And based on reactions, Bethlehem has scored. Once again, they are now down by one. It's five to four with 14.22 to go in regulation. Off the tie up on the face off circle. Spartans bring it on the wing there. It's Humphrey back passing behind himself to Lamelza, but he lost it as Bethlehem will now get it out. It's Captain on the line. It was a delayed offside, so Bethlehem will have to take it out themselves. Edwards won the draw off the offside play on the offside circle play as Bethlehem's defense will have to regroup over the crowding part of the net. As Monez failed on his clear, it's kept in there by Edwards. Spartans keep it in. Here comes Nick Humphrey, shouldering a defender down. Humphrey has it on the back end. He's hit there on the boards. Hopefully he's okay. He gets back up on his feet. Humphrey appears to be just fine. The Bethlehem bench showing appreciate, appreciation as it was nearly turned over off the stick of Humphrey. He lost control as now McCray clears it down. A player goes down for Bethlehem as the Spartans bring it over the line. It's another offsides, and it will be a penalty coming up here. I believe it is, it is against Nick Humphrey. He appears to be upset. It will be on Humphrey, and Bethlehem with 12.48 to go, we'll get a chance on the power play to tie the game at five. As off the face off, everyone appears to magically disappear onto the ice. Sparns rushed the other way, shorthanded chance there. Here comes Kloss, trying to fling on across, but he lost control. Good chance there for Eric Kloss, the rookie making his debut here with Southern Lehigh. As the door is about to open, it has. Humphrey is freed from the box as he stays on the ice. He won't go to the bench just yet. Spartans surviving that. They did a pretty good job killing the clock as they got some shorthanded chances early on to the penalty kill. But now it's back to good old five-on-five -five hockey. Carried back there as Schwartz tried to steal it away from Frey. Schwartz holds on, takes the shot, but it was fanned on. It goes off the right pillow pad there of Bender. It goes back to the right corner. Back to Humphrey, it goes again, but he lost control. Schwartz has it on the left side. As now that goes behind the goal. 10-14 to go in the game. Sparns is up by one. Their first game since their championship win back in, on March 4th. Schwartz, centering pass, nobody there to tip it. He tried to get it to Humphrey, but it was intercepted there by Sleepy instead. Sparns bring it over the line. They, get a shot. they actually got a shot on that. It goes off the twig there of Bender, but now Frey will pick it up for Bethlehem. Try to bring it through center ice there was Frey. As the players vanish once more. And now you can't even see the scoreboard. It's something you could see. You can kind of see the red light somewhat. It's starting to clear up a tiny bit. You can kind of see an eight as one of the digits. It's hard to tell. And has Bethlehem scored based on the stick taps on the board? Players are coming out. And yes, I, yes, it is a goal for Bethlehem. They have tied the laces at five apiece with 8.50 to go as the fog is clearing up a little bit from the scoreboard. They've tied the game once again. They, they have been relentless for what we can and cannot see in this game. And we're tied at five. Sparns trying to keep... Schwartz tried to clear, actually no, that was uh, Mossgrade to try to clear it on, uh, on in. Humphrey, as uh, that puck goes back to the corner, comes free. Here's Lamelza with a slap shot that goes off the stick of Pyre Pavel as Lamelza, Brendan Lamelza at least will now chase after back to the corner, but McCray will get there first. Landon McCray, as the defense will now clear it all the way down to the other side of the ice in Spartans territory, otherwise known as the end of the ice from this perspective, where everyone disappears, and I believe we will have an icing call. 
We will. It will be against Bethlehem as the Spartans will get a chance on the faceoff. Not too far from here. Edwards trying to win the draw. Spartans maintain control. They have possession. Lamelza now goes behind Gretzky's office. Center, he passed across, but they couldn't get a shot from Edwards. It ricocheted off of Bethlehem's stick back towards behind the goal. A good idea, but the play did not work out as Lamelza lost it, and now Edwards tried to knuckle puck it around, trying to knuckle puck it around Frey. It failed. Spartans keep it in the zone. Bethlehem has possession. That backhand pass goes all the way through center. As Karczynski will now try to keep possession, but he couldn't hold on to it for long. 7.41 and counting to go in regulation. We are tied at five in one of the most bizarre hockey games you will ever visually see. <laughs> Nothing to do with the game and content. The, play content. the players have been playing pretty good considering the obvious circumstances. As I believe Blake, Blake Better may have made a save. No, it will be it will be yet another icing based on the players skating down to this side of the rink. Keeping it on the point there, the Spartans try to keep they try to get a shot right. It goes right into the crease there of Bender, but she covers up for yet another stoppage of play. It appears to be a penalty against Southern Lehigh. It is a big chance for Bethlehem to get their first lead. Apologies, I can't say exactly who went into the box to be fair. Who can see whatever is going on the other side this entire game? Seven minutes to go in the game. It's better, I believe, made a save and covers up. As Bethlehem gets it over neutralized once more. And only the hockey gods know exactly what exactly is occurring within these very moments on the other side. You can hear the pipe from here. I believe the puck went off. Iron there. It may have been a great chance for Bethlehem to take the lead, but no stick taps on the board, so the game still continues on. Not sure if it went off the pipe or the crossbar. Spartans rushing the other way. Coming out of the... Missed it like the ghost in the graveyard. A nice shot there by Humphrey. He came out of nowhere. He vanished, and he reappeared just like that. A good chance shorthanded there for the Spartans. Greco corrals it back in. Greco takes a shot, and Bender makes a big save there. You can see Humphrey racing with speed, coming out of literally nowhere, as he got a good chance for, for the Spartans, as he got a chance as well as Anthony Greco, and it kills more time. 28 seconds to go on the penalty against Southern Lehigh with 5.40 to go. We are still tied at 5. I believe Benner may have saved it again. And we do have a stoppage of play regardless. And Bethlehem has scored. They have scored on the power play. It's six to five, their first lead of the game. Eric Kloss comes out of the box. Kind of a rough going for him in his debut. And Monez, based on him being on front of the line, may have scored. It's six to five, Bethlehem. They have finally earned their first lead of the game. And Southern Lehigh, for the first time, is trailing. Spars rushed the other way, moving it in with speed. Here's a shot. Scores! We are tied again. Eric Kloss, in his first game, just served a penalty. Scores not too long after, gets redemption, his first goal as a Spartan. Welcome to the team. And he has tied the game at six. What a shot by Eric Claus. He's wearing the jersey of a former player with the last name Sergeant for Southern Lehigh as the new jerseys for the rookies have not arrived yet. On that play, he wore 50, he's been wearing 51. Eventually, he'll be wearing seven, a former number of Spartans great Patrick Lothwin, former captain as well. Speaking of which, no captain has been named for the new uh, for, the, for this team thus far. We'll see if we see that happen later on in the year since former um, captain Patrick Laughlin was the captain of this team in the last several years. But obviously, just like several seniors, he's also graduated and moved on. And now he's a part of the Navy, actually, playing for the Navy Division I team. So he's, go he's doing pretty well for where, he, for where he is right now. Schwartz flips it across. The gravity brings the puck down. Schwartz has it on the corner once more. It comes free as now the Bethlehem gets it back out. It's Richards, Donovan Richards. Spartans now rush the other way there. Here's Greco trying to center it, but it went off the twig there. It appeared to be the twig of McRae. 
And now Center Lehigh tries to crowley around. Edwards touched the puck, but it will be an offside. We are tied again. Eric Kloss with the goal for Center Lehigh minutes ago. Hard to see exactly how much time is left at this moment, but as the time as the clock goes down second by second, minute by minute, for the next goal will be crucial if we even get another one at this rate. Clear back in there by Humphrey. Humphrey on the edge, lost control. And now it goes to Ethan Myrick. Myrick, it goes back to the point there to Mossgrave, but he lost it as he, he, he maintained control, but now he has to go back over the blue line without it being an offside. So now the Spartans will have to take it back out from their own net. Suddenly, I will try to bring it back through neutral ice. It goes off on their stick play, but now it goes to the defensive side there of, goes to the defensive side of Xander Frey. As we're still tied at six, as Frey lost control, it's taken there by Myrick. Myrick looking for some help behind him as he clears it back to the left wing on the, on the side corner. Less than two minutes to go in the game. We are tied at six apiece. The next goal is going to be huge if we get another one. 128 to go. This is kept in there once again by Rapavo. He's had the puck quite a bit in his own zone, and Sonor Lehigh will bring it over the line. They hold on the wing, get a shot, but it goes off the pad there of Bender. Greco keeps up the pressure. Greco, no play off the boards there. It goes down to Kloss. Kloss trying to center across back to Greco, but Bethlehem will intercept the other way. Last minute, the playing regulation time. Pyro Pavel scoops it away there from Bender. About 30 seconds to go in the game now. Time slowly going down. It would be quite fitting for this to be a tie considering the circumstances, but we'll see if that happens. That goes all the way down towards the other side as Greco, the nearest Spartan to it. He tried to take it away from Pyro Pavel. Nearly succeeds. Pyro Pavel twists around. We'll see how much time is left in the game. That goes to center ice. As a whistle blows, appeared to be an offsides. As the Spartans try to get it, one shot on that, it goes wide behind the net. It's, it's pressured there by Humphrey. The horn has sounded, and that's the end of regulation time. It'll end in a 6-6 tie. I'm Nicholas Garofolo. Thank you for joining us in a bizarre edition of Nick's Hockey Broadcast. Hopefully for future games, the fog will not become a problem. Good night.